today. I have a few more of these for added practice. Uh, 7 times 10 to the negative 2 and minus 8.31 times 10 to the negative 3. So which one is larger? Since they're negative, we're looking at this one is larger, so we're going to convert to the, uh, the larger one. We'll have 7.0 times 10 to the minus 2. And then here, what this is saying is we're moving the decimal place from here three places to the left. So it's going over this way. And if I want to get to that same place by moving it two places to the left, then I have to, I have to be one place closer, right? So this will be 0 0.831 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, we are subtracting these. So now we can, uh, I'm sorry, this is times 10 to the minus 2. That was what we did. Moving it two places to the left from before the 8 is the same as moving it three places from to the left after the 8. All right, so now that we have the same exponent, we can uh, do the math, and we'll have 7, and we can put the point 0. It, it doesn't really make any mathematical difference. Minus, you can see it corrected that, um, 0.831, and we get 6.169. Okay, again, verify it's in proper scientific notation, one digit, the decimal, and then the remaining digits. Okay, now here we have uh, 6.71 times 10 to the 11th, and minus 5 times 10 to the 9th. All right, so a little bit larger numbers, same principle involved. We need to convert these uh, so that they're both the same. We'll go from the smaller to the larger. 6.71 times 10 to the 11th. And, uh, and then 5 times 10 to the 9th. So what this is saying is, I haven't written it because there's no, decimal, no uh, digits after the decimal, but there's where the decimal place is. And it's saying I'm moving it nine places to the right from there. So I want to get to that same place by moving it 11 places to the right. Okay, So that means I have to be two places further over in order to get to that same place. So this will be 0 0.05, two places further back from where it was, times 10 to the 11. Now I'm going to do the subtraction, and this one we can do in our head. 6 point, and then we have 71 minus 5, that will be 66 times 10 to the 11th. Okay. Uh, one more example, even larger numbers. Same principle in all of these cases. We're going to align the, uh, the powers of 10. That's the same as aligning the decimal because here it looks like they're aligned if we just added this 4.81, but um, in fact they're not because this one is moved 27 places to the right and this one is moved 29 places to the right. So they're not the same until we get these aligned. So, same principle, we're going to convert the 27 to 29. Let me just rewrite this one here. And now we're moving uh, the decimal place from here, 27 places to the right, but we want to get to that same place by moving it 29 places to the right, which means we need to be two places over, just like in the last example. So now it'll be 0 0.018 
so we moved it two places further back so that it'll take 29 places to the right to get to that same place here that it did in 27. Okay, now we can add these and this is the proper alignment of the decimals and so we actually have 3.028. Times 10 to the 29th. Okay, hopefully um, with this added practice, um, it has uh, helped you with these problems. Again, always verify that um, you are in proper scientific notation um, with these uh, answers. But if you convert to the larger one from the smaller one, um, generally the speaking, that will uh, automatically happen. Okay, hope this has been helpful.